Welcome back YouTube, DB Squonks here. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Vladin RE pod system. Sent directly over from Vladin. It was actually in a giveaway. I won one in a giveaway and it didn't work. So, yeah, pretty much um, they sent me another one. So let's see uh, if this one works, I guess. Hopefully it does. I've been interested in trying it out. And the other one that I did receive worked when it wanted to so uh, yeah just kept cutting out and cutting out but basically I didn't want to do a video without having a working device yes I could have done the video and said hey this is crap I have a device that doesn't work but I contacted them they were nice enough to send me another one and uh, make sure this one works hopefully actually this is the third one that I re that I received I'm sorry I received three of them the first two the issue was um, the pod wouldn't fit all the way in the battery portion. So uh, the first one, that was the problem. And the second one, it would it would fit, but I had to, it was weird. I don't know. It was basically, I had to take one pod from one of the packages I was sent and put it into the device with the other package that I was sent. And it worked when it wanted to. So it was like a hit or miss type thing. So, there's really not much to show you guys what all comes in this box. I guess I'll do a dive down and show you everything that comes in it. Uh, it's basically just the battery, the pod, and a charging cable. That's pretty much it. Um, it is a uh, 1.5 milliliter capacity pod. It is refillable. Um, so, we'll jump down to the table. I'll show you guys what comes in it and show you how to fill it. I'm not sure if it's, if it's charged or not. I might have to charge it before um, I come back, but that's it. All right, so here's the box. Nothing special, just says a Vladin RE on the front. 1.5 milliliter capacity. Um, tells you portable and easy to use. Ceramic coil inside. Magnetic connection, USB charger. And convenient top fill design side of the box just says Vladin UPC code bottom just another UPC code Vladin little warnings back of the box uh, I don't know if it'll focus or not kind of hard to read but basically just gives you the features it says portable and easy to use <clears throat> top fill open pod vaping system consistent and efficient delivery by controlled power magnetic connection between pod and device, universal micro USB charger, patented ceramic coil inside, package includes your Vladin device, Vladin replacement pod, USB charging cable, and a quick guide. Um, the price, the going price for these, I've seen them online. Uh, just because this is Black Friday weekend, I've seen them online as cheap as $10 for the device, $9.99. Um, but the average going price is $34.99, and the replacement pods come in a pack of three. And those are uh, $13.95, I believe. Um, I don't know what the sale price is. I didn't see the sale price for the replacement pods, but um, average price is right around $13 to $15 for the replacement pods. Um, this is what your pod looks like. It does come in one pod. USB charging cable. And a little device. Uh, let's see if it tells us what the milliamp hour battery is on this. Um, just gives you information about the pod on the, or how to fill it. I'll show you guys all that. I'm trying to find out what the uh, battery capacity is it's actually not telling me what the capacity is on the battery but uh, I'll look it up and uh, put it in the description for you guys but yeah basically so pop the pot out here I'm gonna go ahead and fill the pod for you guys the way the pod works, 
is this is your mouthpiece right here you pop this off mouthpiece pulls off and then you have this little rubber stopper right here and I'm going outside of my norm today I normally don't do um, dessert flavors or anything like that I usually do candy flavors but today for the purpose of this we're gonna be using the uh, butterscotch from Solace it is a 30 milligram salt neck so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up In my opinion the ports the fill ports could be a slight tad bit bigger but all you gotta do is stick your tip of the bottle in one of these holes and just fill it up again 1.5 mil capacity I'm not a big fan of the way that this fills because as soon as you let go of the bottle it wants to suck the juice right back up into the bottle so it's kind of uh, like as soon as I let go all right that's good enough And no, I'm not going to vape on this right away. I'm going to have to charge this, uh, the actual battery portion. But the way the pod goes, it, it can only go in one way. So you can't put it in this way because it won't fit. So it goes in one way. But I need to let that pod sit for a good 5-10 minutes. Come back, I'll bring it back up top and uh, talk about the pros and cons of this thing. All right, back up top with the Vladen RE. Um, I looked it up, it is a 350 milliamp hour battery. So it's not the worst I've seen and it's not the best I've seen by far, but um, yeah, it's, this one actually does work. So it does give you a little, has like a little light indicator right down here. Actually, in my opinion, I don't like the indicator light actually kind of bothers me but you know that's just personal opinion but the flavor is not bad well um so yeah i guess we'll go over pros and cons uh the pro that on this one i guess since it does work the size of it it does fit in your pocket you can pretty much stealth vape so i guess that's pretty much a pro um, the battery, the life on a battery, it does last most of the day. So, you know, like, again, it is not the biggest battery. It's not the smallest battery. Um, but to be honest, I found more cons with this device than anything. Um, the price tag at 35 bucks, there's definitely better options out there as far as pod systems go. Um, and then replacement pods, the re replacement pods are actually pretty reasonable, you know, uh, basically averages out to about, you know, $4 a piece, I guess, 4 or $5 a piece, which isn't horrible. I guess it's about average, but 35 bucks for a pod system that uh, only has a 350 milliamp hour battery and the pods, I haven't been able to find them locally anywhere. So the only where, the only place I can find the pods is online so you know that's pretty much my cons but all around would I recommend it to anyone um, looking for a pod system probably not um, there's definitely better options out there as far as you know if you're looking for something this size and um, with this battery capacity I would probably recommend going with something like the Infinix. It's a little bit cheaper in price. Um, but for what you get out of this, I, yeah, I definitely wouldn't pay 35, 40 bucks for it, what they're asking regular retail price. If you can find one on sale for the 10 bucks, yeah, I would pick it up for the 10 bucks, but I definitely wouldn't pay 35, $40 for that. So there you go, guys. That's the Vlad and RE. Um, I will put the advocacy links down below as usual make sure you guys follow the advocacy links do your part 
So you can continue to vape flavored juices. I know I don't want to vape just tobacco juices, so you know I make sure I take my part. Other than that, until uh, next time, guys, stay off the cigarettes. I don't care if you're vaping on a pod like this, or you know a hand-me-down device, or a five thousand dollar device. It doesn't matter to me as long as you're not smoking. So be safe out there, guys. Until next time.